with Amazon Prime now to have them deliver groceries. The day it was supposed to be delivered, it got canceled. And I tried to have Walmart delivery done, and the day that was supposed to be delivered, it got canceled. So I was like, oh no, <laughs> we're out of groceries, what are we gonna do? Okay, you guys, grocery shopping is not an easy thing to do right now. In fact, we had tried to get ahead of the curve and ordered things that we would need. Like feeding a large family is hard enough at any normal time, but when there are grocery shortages um, and you're stuck at home, like I knew that it was gonna be a little complicated for us, especially because we're gluten-free and we're feeding the kids dairy-free. And so I was a little nervous we wouldn't be able to find some of what we needed. So I tried to place an order with Amazon Prime now to have them deliver groceries. The day it was supposed to be delivered, it got canceled. And I tried to have Walmart delivery done. And the day that was supposed to be delivered, it got canceled. It said, you can replace your order. I tried to do that. It got canceled again. So I was like, oh no, <laughs> we're out of groceries. What are we gonna do? Thankfully, we've been able to get a few things here and there. Today, I was finally able to go to the store and they had enough that we were able to do what for us is actually a pretty normal grocery haul. I wanted to share with you guys a couple of the things that we're getting to feed our kids healthy foods um, that we're kind of trying to keep stock or, you know, I don't even want to say stocking up on, but the things that are staples in our home, as well as to encourage you guys um, to get what you need. Don't feel ashamed about that. They are restocking shelves, it's just in limited amounts. So we try to get what we need for, you know, the immediate future, the week or so, um, and then next week, get some more if we need it. So, let's dive into some of the things that we got. Okay, these were on sale, and um, these are applesauces. Fruit, organic fruit and vegetable applesauces. That's a hot commodity in this house. We usually would get them at Costco, but I'm not even trying to venture out there right now. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> what color is that one? Yeah, good job. What color is this one? Um, yeah, good job. That's right. So we keep our apple sauces in this. I actually do try to keep this full only because it's something they eat almost every day. I'm gonna let you fill them up, okay, Ev? Okay, so next thing we got um, some eggs. I got a couple different kinds. We try to go for organic, um, free range eggs. These are pasture raised. Eggs are pretty empty on the store shelves, but that is something that our family eats a lot of, and in a single day, we'll go through about a dozen. So I grabbed three, not too many, but enough to definitely get us through the week. Okay, John, this is his must-have soy milk for his lattes. If you guys follow him on Instagram, he's always posting his latte art. This is for the girls for their cereal, some organic coconut milk. I will tell you guys, if you're having trouble finding milk in the store, go for the unsweetened soy milk because it's like the only one there all and it's always there because nobody else wants it okay veggie straws this is something we would normally buy from thrive market but we're out so i grabbed two bags of the organic veggie straws you guys the chip aisles are pretty well stocked so that was nice to see i also grabbed some popcorn, these were buy one, get one free, so obviously that's the deal. But snacks are a necessity when you have all of your kids home and not going to school, all they wanna do is eat. Another thing that we eat a lot of, and so I try to stock up, I like to buy these at Costco because obviously it's more cost effective, but we gotta do what we gotta do right now. So I grabbed several boxes of these Dr. Pregger's veggie burgers. These are certified vegan. I thought they were certified gluten-free. I feel like the ones at Costco are. Don't know if it's different. I'm gonna have to dig deeper into that. They may be okay. We haven't really noticed an issue, but obviously with celiac disease, we need to be extra careful of cross-contamination. Okay, so we have cut out dairy for the girls. I've noticed huge improvements in Tyler's behavior um, and her like energy and attention span, if you will. But also with celiac, a lot of times if you have it, you have trouble digesting dairy. So I picked up some goat cheese and some goat cheese cream cheese, yeah. which we've never had. And yeah. I thought, you know what, the girls may be able to tolerate this and they may actually really enjoy having cheese and crackers again. So I grabbed these two things to try out. I like goat cheese. Okay, so this is not something we buy all the time, but this is dairy free, a dairy free probiotic drink. It's kind of like a milkshake without the milk, I guess if you will, but the probiotics, really good for your digestive system. Um, 
your digestive system is really, really important for your immune system. So keeping it happy with probiotics is really good. So right now we're trying to support the kids' immune systems, keep them healthy. So I grabbed some of this for them to drink. Ian's gluten-free, these are wild caught fish sticks. Wild caught is very important to us when it comes to fish. I was happy to see that these were not sold out because this is our like easy go-to dinner. If we're like, oh no, it's already like way past dinner time. What are we gonna make? It's gonna be fish sticks. The kids have a love-hate relationship with them. Um, they mostly don't love them, but they will eat them. <laughs> so there it is. No wheat or gluten. These are the gluten-free ones. This brand also makes some other things too, but I grabbed, and let me just tell you, we are dairy-free with the kids. I am not dairy-free, but I'm also trying to experiment a little with grass-fed dairy with the girls. So they have grass-fed butter. I wanted to see if they can tolerate grass-fed cheese. Um, and I got some grass-fed yogurt, but this is more for me. Um, so I grabbed some grass-fed jack cheese. Jack cheese, isn't that funny? Monterey jack cheese. Jack cheese. <laughs> jack cheese. So I grabbed this. Again, we'll try maybe some cheese and crackers. Okay, this is the yogurt the girls have been eating. This is coconut milk yogurt, so it's dairy-free. Um, I bought some granola last time I was at the store, some gluten-free granola, and then we've got some blueberries and stuff, some frozen strawberries. So we will make like, like a yogurt bowl with all the toppings on it one day. So I grab some yogurt. Dr. Parker's spinach littles. These are really cool. They're like, I don't know, would you describe them like tater tots, but they are full of spinach and in cute dinosaur shapes. The kids really, really love them. They're certified gluten-free, non-GMO. Easy, easy. They did not have any gluten-free bread, which is very surprising. I didn't actually look in the gluten-free aisle. I looked with the bread and so like the breads they usually keep there work on. But I did grab some gluten-free wraps, change it up a little, do some peanut butter and jelly pinwheels or something. I'm not even sure yet. Some gluten-free pita breads. We like to cut up cucumbers and lettuce and some like vegan cheese. Maybe I'll try the grass-fed cheese and make little pita sandwiches. The kids really like those. And then some gluten-free baguettes that I like to cut and make garlic bread with. Delicious. I grabbed some orange juice. This is a new brand to me, but it's a gently pastured and the only ingredient is orange juice. So I like that. They also didn't have many choices for orange juice. So we got some orange juice um, because everyone likes it. Plus it's high in vitamin C, which is really good for your immune system. Could not find our favorite organic corn tortillas, but I did find these. So it looks like we'll be making our sweet potato enchiladas. With these. Speaking of sweet potato enchiladas, they did not have any fresh sweet potatoes. So I grabbed these bags. Thankfully they had them because not every store has organic, like cut up sweet potatoes. These are colorful too, which is fun. Um, so I got several bags of these. They were on sale. Just my lucky day, I guess. Frozen cut up sweet potatoes so we can make our sweet potato enchiladas, one of our favorite meals. Um, we eat a lot of sweet potatoes around here. They're good for you. They're good for your brain. They are hearty. And they like to party. They like to party. No, I was gonna say, and the kids really love them. Which is always a good thing when you're looking for food. Okay, along with that, same brand, which is funny because most of the other frozen vegetables were gone. Obviously these cost a little bit more given the circumstances. We don't have the luxury to like price shop and go and get what we would normally get. So I'm just excited that we were able to find organic stuff that fit our needs. Okay, so I got some cool cauliflower. You guys, it's purple, green, orange, white, rainbow cauliflower, crazy corn, blue, yellow, orange corn. But I thought the kids would really like having rainbow food and we could get like super fun. Jude's birthday is next week, which Birthday festivities are probably canceled, but I thought we can do something here. We can make her dinner fun like in colorful and try to do something I also grabbed the beets. I'm thinking smoothies. I'm also thinking We've never tried to cook beets before so tell me your favorite beet recipe Marin <laughs> Yeah, you close your eyes girl. You're causing trouble over there. What are you doing? Give me your favorite beet recipe in the comments. These, we've got two that are gluten-free with um, no cheese. They didn't have any more of those. So I went for a few of the ones that have cheese. We'll just figure that out and whatever we gotta do. Um, but these are Amy's 
organic, gluten-free burritos. Again, another super quick and easy meal that the kids like. All right, I grabbed these. I've not seen them before, but I was kind of excited about it. Vegan, gluten-free bagels. This Siggy's, this is triple cream yogurt. Icelandic yogurt, okay? Listen to me now. The chocolate flavor tastes just like chocolate pudding, but it's better for you. I like to put more cinnamon on it and cut up bananas and add a little bit of honey. Oh my gosh, so good. Favorite. My other favorite thing was on sale. So I grabbed some, got to stock up on this. This is probably the one thing I will stock up on, so watch out if, if you're looking for perfect bars at our local store because if they're there and they're on sale, I'm gonna get them. Eat this I also grabbed some bags of popcorn for snacking because we have six kids home all day long. Got myself some of these maple pecan, maple pecans. Mm. I got some organic green beans. This is the only bag left. There's that. They didn't have any bell peppers. They didn't have any cucumbers. We normally get those things. So instead, I did the next best thing and stocked up on apples. Oh, and a bag of clementines. This is the last one. I would have bought somebody for these. Just kidding. An apple day keeps the doctor away, and our kids will literally eat as many apples as we will let them in a day. So I figured it doesn't hurt to have the apples if they're gonna be home and they're like, I'm hungry, I'm gonna say, grab an apple. Okay, so these are gluten-free and vegan. Um, this is pepperoni one, which Elena likes and Marin likes. We got cheese. We got one that has regular cheese on it for me. And then one that is pepperoni for John. And I will say, we do have to always have gluten-free pizza because our pizza stone or pan cannot have non-gluten-free stuff on it. It would contaminate it. We wouldn't be able to use it anymore. That is the, the best that I could find. Ideally, we like to get some of these things from like Costco or wherever we can get cheaper or more of. But you gotta do what you gotta do. We tried to be considerate of others in our shopping, like I said, get what we needed, but also not feel bad about getting what we needed. Even at the checkout line, I found myself explaining to the cashier that we had six kids and so this is kind of a normal shopping trip for us. We weren't like going crazy and stocking up um, in a panic. You know, if you guys have a large family, I know you feel this too, and I know so many of you do have big families, but that need to like explain yourself because you feel ashamed about buying a lot of food, don't feel that way. Don't let anyone make you feel that way. You have a family to take care of. You do what you gotta do. And you guys, if you've ever looked at someone stocking up on a lot of food right now and felt like, oh my gosh, why would they be buying so much or selfish or whatever? Mm -mm. Shut that down, that's not fair. You don't know how many people they got at home, how many mouths they feed. That's all, I'm off my soapbox. We love you guys. We wanna know, how are you guys? Are you finding what you need? Um, are you able to get things? I know somebody had posted a list of resources and places if you do need help um, or assistance finding food or paying for food. Um, I will try to find that if you guys need it, but let us know. We wanna know how you guys are. We love y'all. We're so grateful that you're here with us. We hope you're staying healthy. We hope that you're you know, able to get what you need. Um, I'm gonna go. We gotta clean this baby up. She just peed on the floor. See y'all later.